Hey everyone, my name is Dwayne Blatt, and today we're going to take a look at teaching backward skating. So going through the basics at the beginning with young players and then working all the way through to professional hockey players. And working the same technique with young guys as we would with older players, older boys and girls as we're going through. So one way that we start, the, again, going back to those fundamentals we talked about in some of the other videos, but is going back to that hockey player position. Especially when we're going backwards, we want to make sure that our back is not too far forward or too far back. So a good rule of thumb is knees bent, shoulders over knees, knees over toes. And we're in a good spot, head up, and your shoulders are nice and square. One thing that when players, are, especially young players, when they are skating backwards, and we see this with pros as well, a lot of times they make their C out the side of their body instead of the front of their body. So when that C comes out the side of the body, two things we notice that are very evident, and you'll see this with young players, when they're pushing that C out the side, they recover behind their other foot. So as they're skating backwards, they're going here and they're recovering a little bit behind and behind, which is gonna cause them to lose speed. The other thing that's super common that we notice is that heel kicks up. So when they make that C, that heel ends up coming up here. What we want them to do is push out in the front corner. If you think about it when we're forward skating, we push out the back corner. So when we're going full, when we're going backwards now, sorry, we want to make sure that we're pushing out that front corner. So again, when we're skating forward, we push out the back corner. When we're skating backwards, we want to push out that front corner and make that C. And for young players, something to get in their head and for them to think about is pushing out with their toe. So pushing out with that toe and then pulling in with that heel. So again, pushing out with the toe, pulling in with that heel. All right, and we'll, we'll, we'll go through simple stuff with one, leg, with one leg pushes as we're going through. So if I'm making C's with my right leg, Again, my left foot's gonna try to track straight. And if I'm coming towards you here so you can see it, my right leg's gonna push out and that left leg's tracking straight. And I'm just gonna make that C out front of my body, out front of my body, out front of my body. One thing we wanna keep in mind with when we're backwards skating is we don't want too much upper body movement. If I'm a defenseman and I'm skating backwards like this, the more I'm moving, the more I'm giving that offensive player options. If my stick's out here, I'm giving options under here. If I'm pulling that stick back, I'm giving options on the outside. So I want to make sure that we keep our hands in a good spot. We can still have some upper body movement, but we don't want to be over-exaggerating that arm movement as we're going backwards. How we'd start this off with, with young players is just that one-legged push. So again, really focusing on pushing that C out front of our body, so in that front corner. And if you're a coach coming out in front, I'll have Kev jump in here. If you're a coach, that's following that player come down. If, coach, if, if Kevin was coaching me, we'd have just kind of tapping our stick here, trying to get them to hit our stick. So as they're coming out, you'll notice they're kind of here, and we want them to kind of push out to that stick and out to that stick as they're making that C. And then can they keep this foot, this glide foot going nice and straight as they're coming all the way down. Same thing going back, we do the same thing with the other foot, so we switch it up with our left foot, so showing it from behind here. So same idea, I try to push out that front corner and hit my coach's stick or look at that visual of that C going out that front corner as they're coming through and then keeping that glide foot coming out straight. A lot of coaches that tend to use different language on stuff like this, they'll use a half a heart or a number seven, which are all good, they're all fine. Just the letter C for whatever reason has been something that we've been using for years. So for me, I find it easier just to keep that consistent because most coaches will use that same terminology. Uh, but it you know, technically could look like half a heart as you're coming through here and coming back in. But really, we're trying to emphasize that C, that push. So again, pushing that toe out and then pulling that heel in as we're coming through. And then from that one-legged push, once the player's done maybe to the blue line and back or all the way down the ice and back and got comfortable with it, then we're gonna, then we're gonna add both feet. And what we notice when we add both feet, a lot of times our player's gonna push with the right foot and that left foot's gonna move. So when they push here, that left foot goes to the left. And they push with the left foot, that right foot goes to the right. And by that foot going side to side, now they're gonna be skating backwards down the ice in wiggly lines where we want them to go nice and straight. So as they're coming through, ideally we like that glide foot. So let's call it our left foot, it's our glide foot, and our right foot be pushing, and then we're gonna switch. And as that foot comes in, the other one's getting ready to push and push. So we have one leg working at a time, not both legs working in tandem. If we look at high level players, even young players that are getting real good at backwards skating, when they're really trying to go fast backwards, they're not gonna be making big, big C's. Those big C's are gonna get smaller. So a lot of times when we're going through it, we want them to overemphasize those big C's just in order to get that technique down and feel comfortable with it. But as they get going faster, we're gonna tell them, okay, those big C's now are gonna become small C's. And if you look at it here, I'll go real, real slow to just inside the blue line and then I'll speed up my C's and you'll see what I mean. So as I'm coming out here, I'm going nice and big and really working on that technique and nice big C's out the front corner of my body. And then as I pick up speed, those C's are gonna get a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller as I'm going faster. One thing too that's quite different than forward skating, when we're going backwards, our base is gonna to tend to be a little bit wider. 
So very seldom do we see good defensemen recover all the way under their body here in that tighter base. We're gonna be out pushing out the sides here as we're coming through with those C's. Again, really important that players stay on the ball of their foot. So we want players on the ball of that foot, especially when they're going backwards in order to be able to go side to side. So if I have a player, if Kevin's coming down on me on a one-on-one -on -one as I get older, and we're playing here and he goes this way, if I'm caught too far forward or too far on my heels, it's gonna be hard for me to get over. If I'm on the ball of my foot, now I can push to get over here, or I can cross over to come over to make that play. So the more we can get players on the ball of their foot, especially going backwards, it's gonna allow them to go laterally and make plays, get pucks, all that kind of stuff, being on the ball of their foot. We start working with more elite players, like those A, AA, AAA, or junior professional players. We really wanna focus on their upper body and make sure that those details are in check. And what I'm getting at is when a, when a player's coming back, going backwards, making sure that their stick's on the ice and their stick has the ability of moving. A lot of times you'll see players skating backwards with two hands on their stick, kind of like a tripod, right? You wanna make sure that they're on one hand, they have one hand on that stick, good balance. Now they can use that stick for pokes or movement or getting pox or whatever they need to do. Also shoulders. As players are pushing with that right leg, we don't want those shoulders to rotate this way. We wanna to try to keep those shoulders square and let that lower body work independently from that upper body. So again, engaging the core, just like we talked about in previous videos with forward skating and different movements, engaging that core, letting our legs do the work to get us where we need to go, and then our sticks able to make plays, poke pucks, and push players to the outside or scoop pucks off players, right? But big thing is making sure that upper body is, is strong, square, and has the ability to make plays with that, with that stick. The most important tool we have as a player is our stick, and if our stick's tied up with two hands, now our shoulder's gonna move with it. So ideally we want one hand on that stick and then we're able to have that mobility to move, move that upper body independently of our lower body. There's a quick look at a little progression for backward skating, starting off with one-legged pushes, really focusing on that body position and where those C pushes are being made. So making sure we're pushing out that front corner of our body as we're coming through. And again, real quick tip and real simple for players to understand is pushing your toes out and pulling your heels in. So as you're coming through, you're gonna push those toes out and then pull that heel in as you're coming through on those C's. And also keep in mind that as players speed up, those C's are gonna get smaller. And that's okay. We want those C's to be quick and independent. And what I mean by independent is if my right foot's pushing, my left foot's not turning. We're making those C's nice and quick, one foot at a time, one leg at a time as we're going through.